not be worthy of well-doing. You know, I've seen some well-doing in the last couple days. For that, we certainly appreciate you guys and your hard work and your efforts. And if you were in our uh, outdoor event today, you participated in that and you have not visited our church and you're here because of the event outside, welcome. We are glad that you were here. Yeah. more so than my Lord and Savior. Can somebody hear yeah. 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 Hallelujah. We just appreciate God so much. We appreciate all the musicians that's played. And listen, I'm not going to take this service giving thank yous and all that. And because boy, we're just taking the entire service. So without further ado, are there anybody got a reason to worship God? Yeah. yeah. I just want to let you know these folks on this platform and behind me, I'm so proud of them. Uh, this is our free praise team. Amen. And on Sunday mornings, on Wednesday nights, these guys just absolutely bring it. And uh, folks, glad to be in God's house. Who's glad to be in God's house? Amen. Praise the Lord. Stand to your feet if you're able. Let's worship God together, church. Thank you, Jesus.
shout for the Lord in this place. and what he can do in your life. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I tell you, you know, it is so good to be here. I, I, I hate it. I hate working. <laughs> um, I wish somebody would just pay us to do this all the time. Amen. Amen. Just, Amen. Just, <laughs> yeah, <I'll be> <laughs> He's so worthy, church. Yeah. There's not, there's nothing else to say, really, is that he's worthy of our praise. Yes, he is. And it's not that we're worthy to come before him, but because he loves us, we can worship him. I'm so glad for that. I'm so thankful for the Lord and all that he's done. Um, you know, I just, I just I was, I was talking the other day with my wife, and I was just talking about how faith is something that seems so foolish to the world because the world is looking for something that's tangible. It's looking for something that it can touch, something it can see. Yes, and the Bible says that the message of the cross is foolishness to those who don't believe. But it's that foolishness that saves us. Amen? Amen. And I'm so glad. I will gladly call myself a fool. I will gladly be labeled as a fool for the cause of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm so glad that it's not just by faith that we're saved, but it's also by His faith in us that we are able to be blessed. It's by His faith in us that we are able to do what we do. And Lord, we just can't thank you enough, Father. We thank you for your presence. Lord, you're already in this place. We just worship you, Lord. I just want to take a moment to... Uh Thank all the people that came to touch our city. Yes, praise Coming the Lord. From all over this part of the U.S. just for one little city. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you know that touches my heart. It really does. Because, you know, we're supposed to make disciples of all nations. And that's what they're doing. And, uh, Personally, I want to thank, you know, all the people that's labored for hours. Yeah. And just, in the hot sun, you know, because that's my heart, too. Because, you know, my prayer is, God, break my heart. Break my heart for this city. Praise the Lord. God, because I can't let my family die go to hell. call this revival, but you know, is it revival if you yeah. go home and wear the same? Uh -oh. Is it revival if you guys go back to Lexington and Mississippi and you're just the same as when you left? Because revival means a rebirth within yeah. yourself. Yeah. Not just a, I'm going to get God on because I'm on a mission trip. But because Just not to reach them, but to reach my city. Because you know, once a fire starts, 
Praise the Lord.
of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness.